everyone. I'm Sonia Krista Williams, and welcome to today's episode of 10 Minute Marketing. So joining me today, I have um, just someone so close to me that I've known for many years, my sister-in-law, who's just an amazing and prominent businesswoman. She is a project manager. She is a lifestyle expert. She's just so many things. Keon Isaac, welcome to 10 Minute Marketing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited about this. Absolutely. So I asked you to come today um, because you've been working on a a very personal project that I think is pretty amazing. And as many of you know, if you've been listening to the past few episodes, we've been talking a lot this season about community and the importance of building community as you're building brands, um, what it means to build community and the fact that even that word community looks different or might even slightly mean something different to a lot of different business owners or people that are growing and managing online communities in some way, shape, or form. Kian is founder of The, and Kian, I'm going to turn it over to you to kind of share with everyone what The is and talk a little bit more about it. I appreciate that. Um, so The is stands for the Human Experience Experiment. And it's rooted in community. It's really rooted in, we all have this human experience. And I believe we're humans, have, we're uh, spirits having a human experience. And so the whole thing about it is you kind of have sometimes people focus so much on the spiritual side, but my part is to how do you converge those two mm-hmm. so that you actually improve your human experience because we're here. And so yeah. this is all about how do I, wherever I'm at right now, how do I take it to the next level? How do I take this baseline? Maybe I'm not happy. Maybe I'm stuck. Maybe I want to change something. And how do I kind of go within myself, discover my best self, and then mm-hmm. start to make decisions that give me the outcomes that I want? And that is the, it's about the experiment. If I just tap in a little bit to this human experience, what could I really do if I kind of mm-hmm. balance those two sides out? Yeah. What could I uncover if I went a step further or explored yeah. a little bit more? And this is not just for everyone listening, this is not just applying to where you're going in your business or your career. This is everything because anything we do in life is yeah. part of an experience, right? Mm-hmm. This right now, what we're doing is an experience. Mm-hmm. The fact that I get the opportunity to be on your podcast and have this experience with you, like this is, I cherish this, but it's also because you made the decision that this is what you want to do with your amazing gift. And so now we get to have this. Absolutely. What was the inspiration behind starting the? The inspiration honestly came from a loss. Uh, My uh, my husband passed uh, about nine months ago uh, from liver cancer that became rampant and rapid. And we found out in April last year and June, he was gone. And so I tried to grieve. People kept saying, just grieve it out. And I did about two weeks of it and I didn't like it because it wasn't really a part Mm -hmm. of who I am. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of was like, okay, what do I know what to do? And I'm a workout person. So I went to the gym every single day. And as I was going to the gym, I started to think about our conversations that we had in that last week about how he said, what are you going to do with your gift? And he kept ringing Mm -hmm. in my head. And I was looking at it like my gift of who I am, but also your gift of life. And Mm -hmm. so it really made me to go deeper in and say, what do I value? What do I want to do in this next stage of my life? And I realized what I wanted to do was help people to improve their human experience, help people to live out their fullest life. Because honestly, no day other than today in this very moment are we guaranteed. So how do I make that enjoyable? Because nobody wants to really think about it, but how do we look at that about how do we make the actual day that we're mm-hmm. in the best day. Right. And I think that you start to live that way. And that's how I started to heal was I kind of did this whole just for today thing where it was like, just for a day, I'm going to get out of bed. Yeah. Just for a day, I'm going to go to the gym. Just for a day, I'm going to smile. I'm going to laugh. And it started to evolve. And then one day, honestly, in my meditation, it came to me, all the work that I've done over the years as an advisor to people of tech companies and things. I've, I've done this work for a long time. But I had formulated it in a process that I could package and put out there to sell. Wow. Um, Let's talk about what the package looks like. Mm -hmm. And and so and I've I've been a part of the package, which is is a really cool experience. Um, But but the package comes in many forms. So, so, So first, 
um, I want to talk about like the, I'd say the part of the package I'm most familiar with, the part of the community I'm most familiar with, which is your in-person gathering. So, so as you're building community, I guess, describe what is this community and how do you facilitate people starting to have this experience or starting to explore what their own personal experience is? Yeah. So first I started with the people I know. And I started to, I, I formulated it and I shared it with people that were around me that I knew would be honest with me. Mm. And they were the ones that said, you got something. And I started to see these transformations honestly happening in their lives within a week. It's a seven day program. So B is a seven day program to discover your best you. And okay. it's seven days that walks you through very hard questions, I say, of mm-hmm. like, who are you? What do you want? Where do you put your energy Right. Mm-hmm. Those kind of things that sometimes we gloss over. Yeah. And that's how it started. And then I said, OK, now I need to put it up in a in a package, which I did. I put it up and people started buying. And I was like, that's great. People are experiencing. I'm getting all these testimonials. But then I was like, but I'm missing that community piece. Mm-hmm. And honestly, the very simple thing that I did, one of the parts of B was a gratitude group. Mm-hmm. So initially, when you did the you could join this gratitude group, which is on WhatsApp. And so people came onto the gratitude group. So it was after they did the seven days, I started tracking them. And I was seeing people were saying seven years of this and that and all these things Mm -hmm. have been changing. And I messaged them. I was like, what is it? They were like this gratitude group of continuation and accountability and having the energy of other people that have been through it is great. But then I thought, what if I open it up and use this as the way to get people in who Mm -hmm. might be a little bit afraid and intimidated? by the seven day program. And that has been wonders. We have, I started the group maybe a couple months ago, we're at 70 members wow. of people who started inviting other people because of they've noticed a difference in them. Mm-hmm. And that has been how we're able to do online, but in person, which you're familiar, which is these circles, because I woke up one day and I was like, it's, I want to have as many people experience this as possible. So as you attended, I hosted a D circle. It was amazing. And from that, women who've been there have allowed me to host circles for them. I have one in two days. I'm actually going to a school um, to do a circle for high school students because they feel that this is very important to have that as a foundation of just getting a a sense of self, of understanding who you are, because it changes as we evolve. But those are many ways, but it's whether you go through the program or you come through the gratitude group on WhatsApp or Mm -hmm. you have a circle um, that we host. And lastly, I just launched our free membership because I believe that you got to give people a little bit. So that's where you have those free freemiums, freebies that you give. So I'm giving meditations now, putting them in there. I have a discipline tracker that people can look at how they're really spending their time so they can really see, Oh, I really do need the, I actually do need this program. So Helping them get like, you, you know, the, the the things that we have to do, give people enough to see. I actually am not as disciplined as I need to be or I'm not putting my energy where I thought I was. I did it myself mm-hmm. and I was pretty accurate on it. But I realized I spent a lot of time putting my kids to sleep. <laughs> and I was like, I looked it up. I added it up. I spent a, I spent a month a year where you add up all the hours of putting them to sleep. Or waking them up, like you put them naps and all that. It was a month, a month. I was like, oh, we got to change this. So I immediately looked and said, we, I I talked to them. They're two and four. I said, listen, we can't do this. I can't keep, I can't spend a month of the year putting y'all to sleep. And I adjusted there, but I didn't, I didn't know. So that's, that's a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of time put nap, putting them to sleep, getting them to. A month? That's a lot. So well, it's bold too, because how do you how do you explain that to the two year old? But but really, they're going to follow suit. It's just that yeah. it's sometimes hard. You know, I know personally as a parent mm-hmm. to feel like I'm going to make the change, rock their world. But it, it mm-hmm. might be necessary, and it might be necessary for the betterment of you, for the betterment of them. So absolutely, absolutely <laughs> it's huge. I I love how you bring up the discipline piece because. That's a part of you that mm-hmm. I know where it's almost like that accounting background. And if you all yes. read John's bio, she's got a background in accounting mixed with the project management, mm-hmm. mixed with the the experiences you've had for, gosh, it's been you've been in, had a business probably as long as I had. So we're talking 15 plus years of yes. business ownership experience. 
and knowing how to bring that together into something mm -hmm. that is executable for people to mm -hmm. follow. So discipline is huge. Mm -hmm. um, as we let's go back to talking a little bit more about WhatsApp. Um, so with the online part of the community, WhatsApp is the is I guess the the mechanism that you're using. What made you choose WhatsApp? Because I so pe so many people when they're trying to decide how am I going to keep in touch with my community, mm -hmm. my people. There's so many. There's Telegram. There's GroupMe. There's Facebook. Mm -hmm. groups, there's all these independent things. And you you chose WhatsApp. Yeah. How did that come about? Well, I'll tell you. I wanted to make it easy. Yeah. I want it because it's like texting. If yeah. I want you to start to live a, a, a the first foundation of the is living a life full of gratitude and being able to recognize things that you're grateful for every day because it starts to bring that energy towards you and you start to see more things show up in your life that you're grateful for. And I thought about it and I said, group me. I don't like group me, to be honest with you. So I didn't <laughs> want to be in there. <laughs> uh, Facebook, I'm not on Facebook. And I said, I don't want it to be a social component because mm -hmm. part of it is disconnecting a little bit from those things at times. Yeah. And so WhatsApp, honestly, was the easiest one because we have a lot of international people. We have people in London and England that are part of the group wow. that wanted to join. And I just thought about, I saw, I kept seeing uh, these pop-ups of WhatsApp adding these new things and new features and new that. And I went in there and I was like, oh, they have community. I was like, this is smart because anywhere you go, WhatsApp is already there. You don't have to have a social media account to have it. You True. don't have to have a whole bunch to do. It's almost like texting. So it makes it very easy. And I don't have to worry about if you got an iPhone or Android, or you got blue bubbles or green bubbles. It's just a universal thing that people feel comfortable already using. So mm -hmm. I want to meet people where they are. And they, yep. they happen to have more features that are rolling out to make it more enjoyable to have community where you don't have to go on to a social platform. Yeah. All you need is a telephone. That's um, all you need is a telephone. Yeah. I, that's what I love about it is that it's I get up and I send them a picture or whatever I'm going to send for that day and it's done. I don't have to log into anything. It's like texting. Like it's easy to text sometimes. It's not always easy to pick up the phone and call or I got to go on here and think about how it's going to look, put a filter on. It's too much. And yeah. so I found WhatsApp being very easy, but also for people to invite, it has mm -hmm. that invitation component to it. So when people feel it has settings where you can request or you can allow people to add and everything like that. So mm -hmm. I found it being easy because people started adding people. And so it takes the marketing a little bit out of my hands and the people yep. who actually are my ambassadors who have seen the change in their lives are like, Hey, let me invite my people. Cause I want more people around me who are living a life of gratitude. Well, that I'm glad you brought that up. Cause that was my next question. Like, are you growing the group alone or and so you said ambassadors, are they formally ambassadors? Are they, hey, these are just people having great experiences and you encourage them. You can you can invite friends. You can bring whoever you want into the group. Yes. What does that piece look like? Yes, I allow people into the WhatsApp group to bring whoever they want. So at first it was just for people who went through the, but because I saw such transformations and it was such an easy lift for people to start with, sometimes sign up for a membership, even if it's free, getting a whole new login becomes difficult at first. Mm -hmm. So I said, what's the easiest thing, which is WhatsApp, because most people already have it on their phone. So if someone yeah. says, hey, I want to invite you to my WhatsApp group for gratitude, it's not going to have anything but gratitude in it. So it keeps it simple. You're not worried about people trying to sell you on anything or anything mm -hmm. like that. And then, you know, it's a B program and I have things on the announcement page and mm -hmm. I use that as a filter to push them in. But mm -hmm. yes, I allow because your strongest form of marketing is word of mouth. And yeah. so I can post as many testimonials on social media, which we do, but it's no much, it's no greater than someone that you've already known that's been impacted and you've seen it. And they say, what's, what are you doing? They're like, oh, I'm in a gratitude group. You want to join? Boom. I join. You're in that quick. There's simple. no hurdle. It's very simple. It's easy. And so I just opened it up like two weeks ago. We had 15 and now we're, like I said, about 70. Wow. And so, and that's just from it being open and then, you know, teaching people, to open up and, you know, share it with other people. And, you know, because people start to, I don't know what uh, this person is there, but it, it's grown. And it, most of the people that have been invited have not been for me because, again, they feel the need to bring more people because they want, because they, especially people who are now going through V, want <laughs> to be around other people. So it makes them start to think a little bit, maybe I should open up a little bit about this lifestyle of mine to help the people around. 
around me. One more question about the inner workings of the group in WhatsApp. Um, and that is, you mentioned you get up in the morning, you mm-hmm. send the message. So are you the primary driver of facilitating conversation each day or do the group members take that on themselves? I wish I could say I'm the first to post gratitude in the group. And I try to be because I post around 5 a.m., but I am not. Oh, well, not at 5. Um, okay. No, <laughs> because we have people who are in London. Yeah. So they're in that group. Midnight to 3 a.m., we get a lot of posts in the group. And so if I didn't post, it wouldn't matter. Because they post, they post. And I just um, offered up a meditation now um, that I'm going to do virtually um, coming to, right now. And I'm going to continue to do them on like full moons. And I, I'm, I'm, people are like, can you send me meditation? Can you, all these things that I'm creating is coming from the community because they're saying, hey, I want to be more disciplined. And mm-hmm. then I shared with people, I'll give an example of the other day. You're all disciplined because every day you get up and you write in this group takes discipline. And so that then opens the conversation for more things to be done. And then Mm -hmm. I just add more in there as far as like the, you know, the mechanisms for them to achieve. I read people's gratitude lists and see where they're working on and see, let me, what can I help to, what can I provide to assist them? But as far as the gratitude, they don't need me. (laughs) (laughs) They don't need me. Um, Speaking of looking at people's gratitude lists and working with them, do, do you get those aside conversations yes. where, okay, what does that, what does that look like? So, yeah. So people sometimes give me that side conversation, which is often all the time, or someone in the group who invited them, like so-and-so told me this, you know, but they're afraid to ask. Okay. And so I offer up D. So I have a link where they can go to D and people have already started to take D. And then there's some people who are like, I need one-on-one and okay. I offer a limited amount of, of, of one-on-one sessions. That's where people need that coaching They might be in a big transition of life where they're looking to switch careers or they're stuck. I get a lot of people who are stuck. Mm -hmm. They're like, I just don't know what I want to do. I've been doing this all my life or for a very long time and I don't enjoy it. And now that I'm in this group, I realize that I don't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I realize it's not something that I can make up anymore. I can't pretend. I'm grateful for it because it gives me my means, but it doesn't bring me that part that you're talking about when I start to say, who am I and what do I want? It's yeah. not what I want, right? Mm-hmm. So they need a little bit more assistance. But I also have rolled out since I started doing the circles because some people want to do things together, group coaching, which is what I really enjoy. Okay. It's where there's a group of people who come together that want to be coached that they actually start to make that transformation together. Mm-hmm. So they already have that built-in support system that's already around them in their yeah. intermediate community. Wow, support and, and the connection. Um, yes. that you get, you're not going through it alone either, mm-hmm. you know, um, based on some things that you may discover through the process. So that's pretty Absolutely. amazing. Wow. So, Kian, I like to end every show with a lightning round. Okay. I've awesome. got a couple of questions. Yeah, nothing, nothing too earth shattering. <laughs> but in our lightning round, um, I will just throw out just two or three simple little questions to you. And I um, and and they're just short answers. They don't have okay. to be long or elaborate. OK, so first answer is you hit the lottery. Let's just say you hit a, a cash three. You win two million dollars. What million. are you doing with some? You don't have to say everything. But what are you no, doing with some of that sure, cash? The, sure. fu- the fun stuff. I know the, fun the, stuff. the, the responsible fun adult stuff. is going to say, I'm going to invest and say. I'm not going to talk about that because that's a given. <laughs> I'm an accountant. So I'm not going to trade. But the fun stuff, honestly, I'm going to be on a beach <laughs> with my kids, um, allowing them to swim in the ocean okay. for a good month, like a good month, a good beach trip. And honestly, the other fun side of it, I can't lie, is that I want a facility. So mm-hmm. I want to have a facility for the where people can come to and have that 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 physical location that they can tap into with those like minded people. Those will be the two fun things because the beach is a given. I have to be on a beach. I'm a cancer. I'm a water sign. We need water. (laughs) Um, What are you either listening to? It could be audiobooks or podcasts or reading right now that you feel like is having some impact on you. Business, Uh, life. uh, It's an autobiography of a yogi. Oh, yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah that's I a watched a documentary book. on him, and now I'm, now I'm listening to the audio. I've read part of it, and then I went back and did the audio part. Yeah, that's a very thick book. Well, enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, it's a thick book. I was like, 
20 hours on audio. I was like, oh gosh, that's like 30 trips in the car or somewhere. Yes. Uh, I've read it. It's a wonderful read though. So I enjoy it. Um, final question. What's the final question I want to ask today? Um, Final question is, and I asked this question a few weeks ago to another guest. Uh, let's pretend there's a multiverse and there's versions of Keon everywhere. What's, what are some of the other versions of Keon doing? <laughs> some of the other versions of Keon, um, let's see. That's funny because I believe in multiverse. So there's a side of Keon that's, you know, doing the D and all this kind of stuff. And then there's the side of me where I'm doing all the crazy things, jumping out of planes, uh, climbing every mountain that I possibly can. If I could really get paid to just do that, and it <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. I'm an extremist. So I'm doing every extreme sport because mm-hmm. I feel like in that multiverse that I'm in, I can't die in that one. Like I can fall <laughs> you and just you get up, go, you get to go over again like a game. Like, oh, yeah. you know, you got five more lives. Like and then you get a recharge after 24 hours. So yeah. I'm doing all that extreme stuff. Like Uh I get a rush from that. Um, Mm -hmm. And then the other one is probably eating everything in the world. Cause just to know what it tastes like, cause I have such a strict palate, but Uh I think in another life, I would love to just eat food because I really do enjoy it. (laughs) Those are good. I enjoyed that. (laughs) All right. So Kian, how can people learn more about the, as well as if they're interested in either the gratitude group, the seven day program or anything else that you offer, where can people get more information and anything you want to give away? Discover the.com that's discover T H E E.com. If they go there, it gives them access to the gratitude group. It allows them to become a member, allows them to purchase the seven day program or take any of our things that we have. Everything is on the website. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you everyone else for listening. I hope you got a lot out of today as it relates to online communities, but also thinking about your own human experience. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.